So if I were graphing this in 3D, I would actually start by graphing it in 2D, meaning I mean, I, I'm only going to worry about the Z and the Y. One, because those are the only variables I have, but even if I had X's, I would still start this way. So I'm thinking about uh, graphing this where Z is my vertical axis and Y is my horizontal axis. So I know what this graph looks like. It's an upside down parabola. Now I'm gonna take care of the fact that we were supposed to graph this in 3D, which means I'm gonna extend this out in the X direction. But since I can't actually draw in 3D, we have to give a two dimensional representation of that. I'm gonna think about that X axis sticking out from the board and think about taking this parabola and repeating it, but further out or we kind of represent that by further down. And then I'm kind of just going to connect these together and shade in a little bit to give it some depth. Um, let's say that I had, that I was given something like, Z equals, how about Z squared equals three minus X minus Y. I just made this up. I have no idea what this looks like. Um, so the way that I'm going to start again is by not trying to draw this in three dimensions and instead think about drawing it in two dimensions. So if I let X be zero, then this would look like Z squared is equal to three minus Y. And this I can sketch. Here's my Y axis, here's my Z axis. This is a parabola, but this is a parabola that kind of opens sideways. Um, and if I rearranged this, this would say X equals three minus Z squared, or another way to think about this, when Z is zero, Y would have to be three. So I know it's gonna hit here at three, and then if y was zero, z would be plus or minus three. So I'd be somewhere over here, which means that parabola opens this way. Then I would just think about what would happen. And sometimes we call this a plane trace um, because we're looking at what this graph looks like in the yz plane. Um, then again, thinking about well, what happens as I plug in different values of X? So this is what the picture looked like when X equals zero, or I could even write X equals zero here. But what happens when X equals three, for example? If X equals three, then I just have Z squared is equal to negative Y. So by the time I've moved out three in the X direction, I'll draw my x-axis here. By the time I've moved out three in the x-direction, this parabola isn't back here at y equals three. The parabola is now over here at y equals zero. And I'll be honest, no one expects you to do a particularly better job than that in terms of graphing in 3D.